good evening, or good morning, or good afternoon. I don't know where it is or what time it is while you're watching this, but hello anyway. Um, today I'm going to talk about a rich young man. Now this rich young man, um, he knew that Jesus was around and about in his area and he thought I want to go and see this guy, I want to like ask him some questions. So he, um, he went across to Jesus and he said, listen Jesus, Jesus said, yeah. He said, how do I get eternal life? He said, I've, I've done lots of good things in my life. I've been kind to people. I've obeyed my mum and dad. I've, uh, I've not nicked anything. Um, I've not told lies. Uh, I've not like um, worshipped other gods. Um, I've not been unfaithful. Um, he said, he said, uh, you know, can I get into heaven having done all them things? And Jesus said, well, he said, that's good that you've done all them things. He said, but um, really what you need to do, he said, is you need to be able to get rid of everything that you've got, give up all your possessions and follow me. Now, the rich young man, he was a bit gutted about that because... He had a lot of possessions, okay. So he had all the latest gear, he had all the latest clothes, the latest shoes, all the finest jewellery. He had a massive house, he had servants, he had lots of camels, lots of sheep, lots of goats, lots of wonderful, expensive things. Um, and Jesus knew this, of course, Jesus being Jesus, he knew all these things about this rich young man and he'd said to him, listen, mate, if you want to if you want to get eternal life, you've got to be prepared to give up all them things. And of course, the rich young man went away a bit quitted because he didn't really want to give up all them things so that he could follow Jesus. He wanted to, um, you know, hang on to the stuff that he got. Um, and uh, after he'd left, Jesus turned to his disciples and said, you know, truly, he said, truly, it's harder for a rich man to enter heaven than it is for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle. Okay, so a camel, big animal, needle, the eye of a needle, very small and his disciples said whoa he said Jesus who can enter heaven anyway if that's the you know if that's the measure of it who can enter heaven and Jesus said well he said it might seem impossible to us something like that he said but nothing is impossible with God okay they were all like whoa yeah that's cool, that Jesus. I get you. So basically, what Jesus is saying is, you know, um, for us to be able to get into heaven, we need to ask Him or ask God. Well, Jesus is God, so ask Jesus and say to Him, "Listen, Jesus, I know that I can't get into heaven out of my own self, in my own goodness, because I'm not, just not good enough." But I know that if I love you and trust in you and say to you that I want to give up the things of this world, that I will get into heaven. And what Jesus said was, you know what? He said, if you are willing to tr give up everything, not saying you have to give up everything, but if you're willing to give up everything and follow me, then, you know, you will have eternal life. So basically what Jesus is saying is you don't have to give up your consoles your trainers, uh, your favourite football team, your mums and dads, your brothers and sisters, the house where you live, the school where you go to, you don't have to give any of those things up in order to follow him, but you have to make sure that you love Jesus more than any of those things or more than all those things put together. So that's what Jesus was telling us about when um, you know this story happened. He was saying that, you know, it's um, not easy following me. I expect you to give up everything for me if you need to. I'm not going to ask you to just now, but if you need to, I might have to ask you to do that. 
will you be willing to do that? If the answer is yes, and you love me, and you turn away from the bad things in your life, and turn to me and ask for forgiveness, then he said, you can have eternal life. You believe in me, you can have eternal life. Amazing. That, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is a true story. So let's just pray about it. One, two, three. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you that you teach us that in order for us to have eternal life, we need to give up everything. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you would help us to be able to do that if you ask us to. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that uh, through you, we are able to enter the kingdom of heaven, that through your teachings and through your love for us and through uh, your um, willingness to forgive us, we are thankful that we can enter the kingdom of heaven and be your children. Uh, we pray these things in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen.